The Poinsettia development is off the northwest coast of Trinidad in more than 500 feet of water. When it's complete, it'll be the largest oil and gas facility ever installed in these seas. At the heart of the development is a production platform, which sends its gas 20 kilometers by pipeline to the existing hibiscus facility. Developers BG asked Fluor to provide a range of services on the Poinsettia platform's top sides. Fluor were committed to making the greatest possible use of local skills and resources and carried out the front-end engineering design at their office in Port of Spain. They also entrusted the fabrication of the top sides to a local company, Tofco. At more than 4,200 tons, this was the largest such structure ever built in Trinidad. But it was completed on schedule and with an outstanding safety record, not a single lost time incident. The 550-foot-long jacket was built in Louisiana by J. Ray McDermott. Its journey to the Caribbean had been delayed three times by hurricanes, but here the launch went like a dream. Once the jacket had been ballasted into position, everything was ready for the lift of the production deck, one of the biggest lifts ever undertaken in the waters of Trinidad and Tobago. For most of her working life, Poinsettia will be unmanned but for the first 18 months or so, the new platform will house up to 130 people while it acts as the center of a major drilling campaign. A rig will be installed to drill six new wells, totaling 25 kilometers in length and fanning out in all directions to maximize recovery of Poinsettia's resources. Poinsettia is now well on its way towards first gas. Once the new facilities come on stream, They'll increase local production by up to 350 million standard cubic feet a day.